If you are working with larger shows, it can be very difficult and time-consuming to recreate your rig in the Granima 3D window. But you're in luck. In this Granima 3 tutorial, I'll show you how importing shows from CAD programs like Vectorworks and WYSIWYG works. I'll show you the workflow of preparing and exporting this WYSIWYG file to an MVR file, which stands for My Virtual Rig, and importing the MVR file into the Granima 3 on PC. MVR is a standard used by many different softwares and it gives you the option of exporting show setups from one software to the other, in this case from WYSIWYG to Granima 3. WYSIWYG from CastSoft is the standard where I live, but in many countries you'll work in different softwares like Capture or Vectorworks. The workflow is more or less the same, so this works across many different platforms. So uh, let's get into it. So here we are in WYSIWYG. We need to export this uh, setup here. I just made it uh, a few hours ago. This is a lot of Vipers. This is a lot of Auras. This is a lot of Atomics. We have some Spiders and a lot of Two Lights and all kinds of different stuff. So basically we want to we wanna look at this and say, okay, how much do we want to export? In this case, we want to export everything, but what you can actually hide, everything you hide in this uh, view here is not going to be exported. But uh, let's go into the cat menu up here and uh, see everything as we can see right here. If you want to hide something, you can just hide, for instance, LX1. You move that away, our front truss, and it's not going to be exported as our MVR file. Before uh, we export everything, as you can see here, there's a lot of uh, spot numbers on all the, all the moving lights and on all the fixtures, actually. And uh, usually I would use a unit number when I patch my show. So if you go in here and you see unit number one, but it doesn't work unless you use spot numbers. The MVR file doesn't look at the unit number, it looks at the spot number. So if you're used to using unit numbers as I am, you have to change it into spot numbers. Uh, but this is the case and this is how it looks. And uh, I think we're gonna export everything. As you can see here, we have some uh, a little drama here and a guitarist as well. So we are gonna export everything into our MVR file. So to export everything, we simply go into our wireframe view right here. You can see everything up here and you go into file, you go into export and you can see an MVR export option up here. You have to save the show first. So let's just save and proceed. And uh, it starts the export process. And you can see it's gonna export uh, 20 layers, uh, 212 fixtures, a lot of pipes, trusses, uh, objects and groups and everything. So let's just do that. And it is uh, suggesting our desktop right here and test show uh, v1 version one in an MVR format. So we just save that and it starts exporting everything. So the export itself goes pretty fast. And then we have it up here. This is our test show right here. And this is our backup file from our WYSIWYG. So what we want to do now is to move this into our thumb drive. It's very important that you have a thumb drive attached to your computer because uh, Granima 3 looks in your thumb drive folders. So basically you wanna open this up, your uh, thumb drive, and then you wanna start saving a Granima 3 show on the thumb drive. And you can simply just open up uh, Granima 3 on PC and go into the backup menu and simply just save your show and uh, do that on your GMA2 or wherever your, whatever your thumb, thumb drive name is. And that is going to create a folder. I'll just show you right here. It's going to create a folder called Granima 3. And in that you have a Granima 3 library and a shared. You want to go into the library like this and you want to locate the MVR folder. So you open that up and it's empty because I don't have any MVR file in it yet. And you simply drag your MVR file and you drop it in your thumb drive folder. When you've done that, you simply close this one down and you open up your Granima 3 software. Okay, we exported the MVR file from WYSIWYG and it's ready for direct import into Granima 3. Keep watching if you want to see how importing MVR files work into Granima 3. There's a few things we need to take care of after the import to make sure that all information is correct. And if you enjoyed this video and find it useful so far, be sure to give it a like. Liking videos supports my channel and it helps it spread out to more people on YouTube. And if you don't want to miss any future episodes, click on the subscribe button below and click the notification bell icon. That's going to give you a notification every time we upload a new video. 
And please leave a comment if you have anything on your mind. It's always nice to hear from you. Reading comments makes it a lot more fun to make these videos. If you're interested in Granime 3 hardware, I have some links in the description for all kinds of different pieces of Granime 3 hardware. So go check that out if you're interested in uh, information on models, pricing and features on the different models. But uh, let's continue. So we exported our file from WYSIWYG and we are now ready to import it directly into Granime 3. Uh, and it works kind of simple. You uh, open up a blank show or whatever you want to do. You go into your settings up here and you go straight into the patch. It opens up this window here. We just close this one down because we want to import an MVR file. So we select this one and we go from our internal disk to our GrainMA 2 disk, it's called. Uh, that's what my thumb drive is called. And in that we have our test show because we moved it into the right folder in the, in the file structure just a minute ago. So here we have our test show and we simply click import. It's going to go through all the objects and it's going to identify a lot of things and it's going to open up this uh, merge option here and here you can simply choose what you want to import and what you don't want to import. But since we are starting up a new show uh, right now, we want to import everything. So basically we just click import MVR and it starts working. And depending on how fast your computer is, this can take a while. So if you scroll down here, you can see uh, it's all mixed up. We have a unit number here, a fixture ID number here, and then you have a pipe and everything is, is, into the, is imported into the patch, which can be a little bit annoying. So what you want to do is you want to sort uh, from the fixture ID here. So you simply right click on the fixture ID and it's going to sort everything into uh, descending or ascending, depending on how many times you click it. So what we want to do now is we want to make some groups because all these uh, items here is kind of annoying and we need to get rid of them. So we insert a new fixture, we go into GrainMA3 and we search for group and we select a group and let's just import maybe, let's just import 10 groups. We can always delete them afterwards. So we say apply and we should have some groups down here in the bottom somewhere right here. So let's go up again and uh, identify all the different uh, uh, scenic elements, all our trussing and our pipes and everything. So let's see if we can find where the first one is right here. We simply mark it all the way to the top and we say cut and then we locate our group number one, for instance, and we can simply rename it to scenic and we click the small icon here new fixture and we paste everything in here and we can close this one down so it's not in our way anymore. Now we need to clean up this file because it hasn't it hasn't selected all the correct fixtures. It's just uh, selected some fixture names basically because it doesn't understand what comes from WYSIWYG. It, it doesn't know that this is a Thomas Toolide. It doesn't know that uh, that it's a mega point even though it's uh, saying here it's an atomic it doesn't know it's an Martin Atomic and what mode it's in. So we need to replace these ones with our real fixtures. So basically, we scroll up and we find where we want to start. Let's say we want to start with our Atomics. We simply mark the fixture type like this and find all of them. We right-click and we go into the shares maybe and search for Atomic. And it has an Atomic 3000 here. We want it in a four channel mode. That's the top one. We select it like this. And now it's an Atomic 3000. Now it knows what it is. We do the same thing for our spiders down here. We select them. We right click. We search for spider. And we have it right here. And I have patched it in mode two, which is our basic mode. We select that one and it's going to replace the uh, the fixtures with the correct spiders. Uh, as you can see up here, it selected actually the atomic uh, image and the spider image. And then you do that for all your fixtures, for your mega points, for everything. I'm just going to speed up the video while I do this because you don't want to wait for it. But it's actually quite easy. Just go through all of them. Once we've done all this, it's time for our patch. And uh, since we haven't uh, patched the WYSIWYG file from the beginning, it's actually very easy to patch it because we only need this for reference. We only need this as a visualizer. So it doesn't matter how we patch it, basically. 
So what we can do is simply mark everything from the top and all the way down to the last viper here. And we right click and we simply say DMX Universe 1, number 1, and it patched all the way through up to Universe 6, uh, address 235. So now everything is patched, everything is set up. So basically we want to go into our 3D window now and see how it looks. So we close this one down, we save and exit, and that brings us out to the opening right here. And then we open up our 3D window. We click it up here and we open the 3D window. And as you can see, our entire rig is here, just as we imported it. I can see there's a few mistakes here. The pipes have moved position for some reason, uh, but it looks like the fixtures are actually in the right position. It imported the scenic element here, the drummer and the singer and everything. So this is basically how you do an MVR import. Let's see if we can turn something on. Let's say 501 through enter. That's everything. And let's put it at full. And you can see everything starts lighting up as it's supposed to. So basically, we can actually start programming from now on. So this is the MVI import. It's quite easy. I'm going to leave a link in the description below this video with a uh, OneDrive, a shared folder. I'm going to put this uh, MVR file into it so you can download it and try this out uh, for yourself at home. So if you have any questions in that process, please uh, leave a comment on the video and I will uh, answer it as best I can. Granime 3 programming is easy to learn since the software is free and you can work with it in your home at any time. So there's no excuse of not learning it. Any show you create on your on-PC software can be loaded directly into any piece of Granime 3 hardware. So be sure to give this video a like so it can spread out to more people and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any future episodes. And if you want to learn the easy way to build a Granime 3 layout from this MVR file we just imported, I suggest you watch next week's video when it's ready. I'm going to link it on the screen as you can see it right now. I try to release one new video every week, so please come back if you want to continue learning Granime 3 programming. I hope to see you on the channel again in the future, and until then, happy programming.